I'm here in the beautiful Chicago nature area just north of Stony Plain today to talk about ecosystems. Now, this is a wonderful example of an ecosystem. It's a beautiful pond, but ecosystems can be as small as a rotting log or as large as Canada's Arctic. So what exactly makes up an ecosystem? An ecosystem is anywhere where living things interact. And this is a fantastic example. We have beautiful trees, we have frogs, leeches, pondweed, fish, all sorts of living things are interacting in this pond. That makes it a fantastic example of an ecosystem. Now, we can describe the living things as biotic factors. All those living things that I mentioned are biotic factors in the ecosystem. The non-living things in the ecosystem, like the water, water is not alive. There's also plenty of rocks on the, in the shore, uh, in this uh, edge of the pond. Those are not alive, uh, they're abiotic. Uh, even things that used to be alive. For instance, this used to be a living tree, but it's long since dead. It is now a dead log, and dead things are abiotic factors in the ecosystem. So, now that we know about biotic, living, and abiotic, non-living things in the ecosystem, are there other ways and other terms we can use to describe the things in an ecosystem. There are. Let's look at those right now. I'm here by this small fish pond to talk about three important ecosystem terms. Species, population, and community. Now at first glance, you might think such a small pond is not an ecosystem, but it actually is. It has all the elements. It has living things, and non-living things interacting with one another. What it also has is a neat collection of, of fish. And when you first look at these fish, you might think that they're all the same, but if you look really close as they're swimming around, you'll notice that they appear quite different. There is a group of koi and a group of goldfish. Each one of those two is a different species. Now, a species is a group of similar appearing organisms that can successfully breed with one another. And when they successfully breed within it, with each other, they form more individuals that can also successfully interbreed. So what we have here is two different species. Koi is a species and goldfish is a species. Now, each of those groups of species are a population in this ecosystem. A population is all the members of a species that are located in a particular e ecosystem and interacting with one another. So this pond actually has several populations. It has a population of koi, it has a population of goldfish, it also has a population of these uh, nice papyrus plants, and it has a big population of algae. Now, all together, if we take all those populations, those interacting groups, in the ecosystem, we have a community. A community is all the populations in an ecosystem that are interacting with one another. So, the next time you're in an ecosystem, watch out for those three words and see if you can spot them. Species, population, and community. <laughs>